Hello everyone, welcome back to The Real Starfighter, and today we are going to be doing the TIE Bomber and TIE Punisher Pilot tier list. If you have not seen any of my tier list videos, please go ahead and pause the video here and read my tier criteria. Starting off with tier 3, we have the generics for the Punisher and the Bomber. Now I will say that the TIE Punisher, if you're going to play the TIE Punisher, you're pretty much going to play the named pilots. Uh, the generic is just too expensive to be a, a solid filler ship. If you're looking for the cheapest carrier of munitions, whether it be torpedoes, missiles, or bombs, the Scimitar Squadron Pilot is your best bet. That is just a very comfortable place. A lot of people rely on that uh, pilot to bring a lot of munitions into the battle, so I really do love the Scimitar Squadron Pilot. Great pilot, great stuff that the pilot can do. Um, and now with Disciplined out there, we're probably going to see a lot of the Gamma Squadron Ace, just because Disciplined is an EPT and the... Uh, Gamma Squadron Ace has that EPT slot for the Disciplined card. So we're probably going to see some more play for the Gamma Squadron Ace because of the Disciplined EPT. Going on to Tier 2, we're starting off with Tomax Bren. Now, Tomax Bren was a really amazing broken pilot in 1.0. Now in 2.0, he has fallen tremendously because he relies on a pilot talent that, one, has a charge that can be recovered. Now... The cool thing about Tomax Brand is you're able to recover charges on elite pilot talents that you normally can't regain, such as Crack Shot. But Crack Shot is so hard to use now, and when you have the lack of maneuverability that the TIE Bomber has, it's really hard to make that consistent. Are there payouts to it? Absolutely. But it's going to feel very tier 2. You're not going to get the payout that you want from Tomax Brand. Next up, we got Deathfire. Deathfire is a really... Cool pilot. I enjoy Deathfire a lot. Deathfire's pilot ability reads, after you are destroyed, before you are removed, you may perform an attack and drop or launch one device. That is really cool. That's really powerful. You're able to basically leave a bomb and shoot whenever you are destroyed. Now, of course, I'm not a huge fan of that because I have to be destroyed for that to go off. And because I'm Initiative 2, I'm probably not going to have someone in my firing arc if my if my opponent's an ace pilot so they might get out of my way so i won't have anyone to shoot at but i'm at least going to get that bomb dropped and to me that's really powerful it reminds me of the marty dom perk from the old call of duty games from call of duty 4 next up we have captain jonas now captain jonas is basically how runner for you for your munitions and captain jonas's ability reads while a friendly ship at range zero to one performs a torpedo or missile attack, that ship may reroll up to two attack dice. Now, Captain Jonas can use this ability on himself, but what makes this a tier two ability, but with a tier one payout, is, is because you have that inheritable reroll with Captain Jonas and he can use it on himself, you're basically not spending your target lock that you are required to have to shoot your weapon. You are keeping it on there, rerolling with the ability, and the next turn, you're either getting a token to make the second shot even harder, or you K-turn around and you still get your modifications, you still get those re-rolls, because you're shooting a secondary weapon. The reason why this is tier 2 is because at, certain, at one point, you're going to run out of those big munitions, and you're going to start to have to reload. And because you only have 6 hull, you're probably not going to rely, uh, really survive that. You're, you can't rely on your hull and your agility. Um, so because of that, Captain Jonas is tier two, but there is a really big tier one payout. I do think being able to shoot two, uh, four dice attacks without range bonuses for your, for the opponent is really powerful, especially back to back because you're not giving your opponent an opportunity to, um, to take a rest in between each shot. You're doing two consecutive shots. So Captain Jonas, definitely a tier two feel, but with a tier one payout. And going on to Tier 1, we're going to start off with Redline. Redline brings in the action economy to the TIE Punisher that the Empire is known for. Redline's ability reads, you may, you may maintain up to two locks. After you perform an action, an action, you may acquire a lock. That is really cool because that means anything you do, you can go into a target lock. You're basically getting a free link action into the target lock. Because it's saying acquire and it's not saying an action, you're able to do that red barrel roll into a lock, which is really powerful. You're even able to do 
the boost into the linked target lock action into acquiring another lock. So because you're able to do that, I think Redline is absolutely amazing, absolutely bonkers. What puts what puts Redline on the disadvantage is, is if you go into the battle um, with no munitions, you're going to just rely on that two dice attack, but you'll be very consistent. But that ability right there is just so consistent, so amazing. You're always able to keep pressure on your opponent because you're always able to maintain two locks, which means you're always able to line up your primary target, and as soon as you go for another, you're able to just pressure the secondary target and then start working on the next one. So basically, Red Lion is just there to maintain tempo and have great action economy that the Empire is known for. Next up, we have Major Rhymer. Major Rhymer's ability reads, while you perform a torpedo or missile attack, you may increase or decrease the range requirement by one to a limit of zero or three. Now, Major Rhymer is tier one because he changes the range of all your weapons. You're able to shoot your advanced proton torpedoes at range two. Your uh, regular proton torpedoes become range one to three. That's really powerful. That's really broken to me because you're able just to change everything. You're able to say, you're able to be unpredictable to your opponent. Your opponent now has to completely change the way they play. There's no range one bubble, no range one safety away from the proton torpedoes. You're going to get those proton torpedoes slammed in your face with Major Rhymer. So because Major Rhymer changes the way upgrade cards are stat lined, Major Rhymer is definitely tier one. And of course at the top of tier one we have probably one of my favorite pilots in all of X-Wing miniatures next to Soon Tier Fell is Death Rain. Now Death Rain is an amazing pilot because of this ability. After you drop or launch a device you may perform an action. Now immediately I am thinking Oh, I'm going to drop a device and then immediately reload it. Especially if I know I'm not going to go into any sort of combat or have anyone to shoot at. I'm definitely going to drop my device and drop and reload the bomb I just dropped. So I potentially have infinite bombs. The one cool thing I like about this is it kind of gets around the whole concussion bomb thing. So if you have concussion bombs, you're able to reload so you can just drop that concussion bomb reload that charge so that way you're not forced to continuously drop those bombs over and over again um so you can save them for later on and i really love that ability especially since you're waiting for end game like think about end game really quick i think death rain is a great end game ship because if you're the if you're at the end game with death rain and you have at least one bomb if you do that combo you're covering your six you're able to cover your back so that way someone can't get behind you with, you know, concussion bombs, seismic charges, um, and those kind of, uh, those those ones that drop, dur uh, that explode during the, um, the, before the engagement phase happen. Those are the bombs you want to go after. You can't use the ones that, you know, sit there the whole game, like Connor Nets or Proximity Mines or um, Cluster Mines. You can't use those and reload those, but... That's really powerful anyway, just being able to constantly drop a bomb over and over with that combo. Not to mention you're able to, I think you could actually like quad action if you count the bomb as an action. For example, you can do, you drop your device, you do that boost, you link into a target lock, then you do a blue maneuver and then you go into a focus or even you go into a barrel roll. You did four things in a very short amount of time in a bigger ship. So taking the punisher and making it a kind of a really nimble ace death rain completely changes the way that heavier ships play the game and i love that i think i love that so much that death rain redefines how heavy ships play um x-wing miniatures and for tier zero we unfortunately don't have any pilots but death rain comes really close I mean really close. I love Death Rain's ability. Definitely feels close to tier zero. But because you're really reliant on it, really end game, and you're going to end up hitting your other ships, like because you have, um, you know, you have if you have a bigger list, like you're flying a swarm and Death Rain's maybe your ace, you might hit your own ships, so you're not really going to use that in the beginning. But it's really great end game. And because it's really strong end game, but not great in the beginning, it's not warranting of tier zero to me. But it's very close. So here's just, here's just a quick recap of the Bombers and Punishers. Again, all of our generics at the bomb, bottom, they're great fillers, but you're really going to look at the Scimitar and the Gamma Squadron because they're cheaper. If you're going for Disciplined in your list, then Gamma Squadron Ace is your guy. Um, Tomax Bren, Captain Jonas, Deathfire, 
they feel very tier two, but some of them do have those tier one payouts, especially Captain Jonas being able to apply that pressure with those torpedoes for two back-to-back -back rounds, getting that inheritable reroll. I think that's very powerful. Um, and then in tier one, we have Redline, who just always has a target lock, always makes sure that you're applying pressure, always having mods. Uh, Major Rhymer, who's changing the way that the torpedoes and missiles are fired, changing their ranges, making sure that you are always able to get your munitions off and your opponent's never safe as long as they're in front of you. And then Death Rain, who just is the action economy um, queen, is able to reload, tor uh, reload bombs immediately after dropping them, reload munitions with ease, able to combo, do triple action, quad action if you count the dropping the bomb as an action if you want to think of it that way. I mean, Death Rain Brings is the definition of Imperial Economy. Definitely my, probably my second favorite pilot in um, in the Empire next to Soon Tier Fell. So awesome stuff that the Punisher does, especially when that Punisher is named Death Rain. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helps you out, make sure you share it with a friend. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. This place crawls, and remember to always check your six.